Ahead of the Lok Sabha election results, top central ministers, including the Prime Minister, predicted that the markets will go up on June 4th, owing to BJP's strong electoral performance. The exit polls supported the BJP's claims of a strong performance. Following the exit polls, the stock market saw a spectacular spike, rising over 3% to touch new highs. However, the exit polls could not have been more wrong. On the day of the election results, the stock markets saw one of the worst crashes in recent times. The Sensex and Nifty ended the day 6% lower after it became clear that the final tally was nowhere close to what the exit polls had predicted. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had said that the day election results come out and throughout that week, those who punch in trades will get tired. Home Minister Amit Shah even suggested that investors should buy shares before the 4th of June. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman and External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar also predicted a spike in the market on results day. However, two days later, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi has made a sensational claim over gross market manipulation. Gandhi said that BJP leaders, pollsters and some foreign investors may have colluded to cause the biggest stock market scam. Why did PM and HM give specific investment advice to the 5 crore families investing in the stock market? Is it their job to give investment advice? Gandhi asked and alleged that BJP leaders had information that the exit polls were wrong. Rahul Gandhi said that retail investors lost 30 lakh crore in the market crash and demanded a joint parliamentary committee probe into it. The role of the Home Minister, role of BJP members, and also those people who have done these fake exit polls. And finally, we want to understand who are the people, these foreign investors, who did these trades. So we want an investigation for that. Congress's tirade against the BJP, even before the formation of the new government, led by Narendra Modi, could create a furor when the 18th Lok Sabha convenes for the first time.